Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're gathered in a place that made Joe Lieberman who he was and what he was. This synagogue, his home, just a few blocks from here, Stanford High School, a world within a radius of just a few blocks. And no matter how far he went or how high he went, this place was always with him. In the synagogue, he studied Torah and learned to be in the world, but not totally of the world. He worked with Rabbi Aaron Krantz as his mentor. At Stanford High School, he learned the first lessons of leadership in a diverse student body that elected him class president. But most important, in his childhood home with Marcia and Henry Lieberman, he absorbed the principles and values of tikkun olam, repairing the world, giving back, public service that became the animating force of his life. I came to know Henry and Marcia and Uncle Ben and Aunt Faye, Minnie, the constellation of people, grandparents, relatives. They were a force. They were a powerful force that made him ferociously independent and strong-willed, strong-minded, but eager to learn from and listen, to listen to others. They inculcated the value of bringing people together, bridging gaps, and healing divides. He loved Stanford. When I met him, over many occasions, it was usually down the block at the diner for a cup of coffee. He loved this place because it gave his family a home, a family of immigrants, his grandparents coming to this country, Stanford, made them feel welcome and at home and opened a world to them. A world that later opened even more when he was the nation's first Jewish candidate for vice president on a national ticket. Thank you, Al Gore, for making it possible for him to stand at that podium and to say, only in America. He believed in the American dream more than any particular issue or position. I succeeded Joe Lieberman in a number of different jobs in the State Senate, then as Attorney General, and the United States Senate. The two years that we overlapped as colleagues in Washington were a master class in bipartisan persuasion and legislating. With Senator John Bro of Louisiana, he formed the Kocher Cajun Caucus. <laughs> and he invited colleagues to partake of their recipes. He traveled the world with John McCain. I traveled with John as well, and he often joked that he loved traveling with Joe because he usually had Saturday mornings off when <laughs> Joe went to synagogue. Joe loved to tell the story of a friend of his who said after Joe was elected to the United States Senate to succeed Lowell Weicker, and I was elected to succeed Joe as State Attorney General, that his friend told him that Connecticut was lucky to have a better U.S. Senator and a better Attorney General. <laughs> I, I'm not sure he believed it. Joe, uh, as we all know, had enormous momentous accomplishments. Among them, he helped form the Department of Homeland Security, and he built the modern intelligence community, a structure which has protected our nation from terrorist threats 
and attacks both from within and without. He championed civil rights and voting rights, women's reproductive freedom, LGBTQ liberties and protection. But the greatest accomplishment of his life was his marriage to Hadassah and their children and grandchildren. In all the conversations I had with Joe, we would talk about our children and his face would alight with joy and pride. And that's what I will always remember most about Joe. Of all the great forces in Joe's life, Hadassah was the greatest. And I recall talking to Matt and Etan, the marriage that took place here, which many of us attended, a time of such great joy. Over the years, I watched Joe disagree with colleagues, disagree with me, but as the saying goes, he was never, ever disagreeable. He had a gift for differing, but never dividing. And when he and I differed, we ended our conversations with a smile, because he believed in listening. He truly believed in civility and listening. And what I will remember about Joe, and the picture always in my mind, will be of him listening to someone. Because he believed that every person has a story, and every story is worthy of respect. Sadly, his story ended too soon, and we will miss him. <laughs>